there, good looking, and join me for this metabolic conditioning workout in which we will train every muscle in your body as well as get your heart rate up. Now listen, a BOSU ball is completely optional for this. I'm going to be showing you how to do each exercise without the BOSU ball as well. And for most of them, it's going to make really good sense as to how to easily not use the BOSU ball. But for everybody, you need to grab yourselves a pair of moderate weight dumbbells. For reference, I have a pair of 15s. And here's a spoiler alert, we will be doing burpees. So if burpees aren't your jam, I totally understand. And I'd love for you to have a chair nearby so we can pop the ground up to make that move more manageable for you. And guess what? This is day six of our unstoppable challenge as well. Hello, challengers. All right, gather your gear, let's go get warmed up. Hello there and welcome. If you're unfamiliar with who I met, who I am, my name is PJ Ren and I've been a certified fitness instructor as well as a personal trainer and coach for close to three decades. And it's great to have you hop on to my workout. Let's get warmed up. As we do, I'll chat about the workout. Deal? Perfect. Feet apart, toes are slightly turned out. Inhale, reach the arms up, stretch it out. Exhale, fold forward, grab onto the tops or the bottoms of your toes, pardon me, and now drop the hips all the way down. Keep those heels on the ground. Push the elbows on the inside of the knees, open up those hips. Take the left arm, reach up. Right arm, look up. Both arms, reach up. See that one more time. Reach it, extend the spine. Fold forward, grab onto the bottoms of those toes, drop down, heels on your ground, press the elbows on the inside of the knees. One arm reaches, other arm reaches, both arms reach, Woo! and release. All right, take yourself in for a stabilizing exercise for the glute med, your outer hip. Ex bring that leg out and in. Now, just a heads up, because... I only have so many screens <laughs> that I can record for the workout. For the lunge pattern that we'll be doing in the workout, I'm going to be showing you how to do it without a BOSU ball. But if lunges don't work for you, I want you to do this instead. All right, this glute med, knee friendly, outer hip strengthening exercise. Last two, so good if lunges aren't your jam, you'll do this instead, other side. Give the lunges a try though, right? Bend the knee a little bit with good form and with focus on contracting the muscles in your thighs, back of your thigh. Most of you will be fine with the lunges. Good, last two and one. Feet together, chest is up. I want you to go into a modified gait swing, so a low impact one. Knees track with toes, sink the hips down, reach the arms down. I hope you're having a great day. This workout's going to be a ton of fun. And if you don't own a BOSU ball, you're going to watch all the drills with the BOSU and you're going to want one. I know you will. <laughs> Here we go. Last four and three. Two, one more each side, some arm circles, abs engaged, and then you'll want to stick around to the very end. I've got a fun ab finisher for us. Good, really exaggerate this range of motion. Good. So we have three rounds, 30 seconds on the clock, seven different exercises that are gonna hit every muscle in the body. Open and close. We start with a squat. You can do it weighted or not weighted, wherever you feel you're at in your journey with fitness or how you're feeling today. So let's get ourselves set up. All right, you're either standing on the ground or let's add a little bit of instability if you have a BOSU ball and stand on top of the dome. Dumbbell close to the chest, drop it down as low as you can and then drive up. 30 seconds. So as I said, it's pretty easy to figure out, right? Doing a squat on a dome, what a squat would look like without the dome. <laughs> and that's how most of the workout's going to go. It'll make common sense or to be common sense for you as to how to easily do it without the BOSU. All the BOSU does is add an element of fun, some instability, firing up more muscles in addition to more core. Let's 
do one more. All right, dumbbell off to your side. One foot on. We're gonna squat and scoot up and over, or you're gonna do it without the dome. If you've got the dome, don't forget, add that squat on each side. Do your best with the jumping. Woo, thighs are burning. We're moving into the lunges next. One more over. All right. Dumbbell in each hand. Stationary lunge. Left leg behind or back foot up on the dome. Left foot up. Down and drive up. Or maybe you're doing those standing fire hydrants like we did in warm up. Oh, hi, Bella. Bye, Bella. <laughs> And just breathe. 30 seconds is gonna go by quick. Hinge forward slightly from the hip there. Feel that in the glute, one more. Woo! All right, there's no doubt the quads are working as well. Okay, we got the other leg. Take it up. Ready, set, go. So either a stationary lunge or your back foot's up on the BOSU or a standing fire hydrant like we did in warm up. If you're new to me and my workouts, as you go, as you continue with the journey with me, you'll learn some great alternatives for knee friendly moves, shoulder friendly moves, low back friendly moves that you can easily switch out. Let's do one more. Woo, time, all right. Burpee to shoulder press. Dumbbells are in your hand. Either use a chair in front of you to elevate your ground. Those of you with the BOSU, everybody starts with a press. Bend the knees, jump it or step back, and press. So we wanna bend the knees to get the BOSU or dumbbells to the ground, and then from here we can jump it or step it. You can also use the chair, as I see, as you see me do, in the alternative screen. Whew, time, all right. You're either on the ground with the dumbbells or head and shoulders on the BOSU with the dumbbells. Get set up for a chest press. Elbows are just lowering slightly past the shoulder joint and then the elbows are in front of the shoulder. Squeeze the booty, glutes are engaged, and then we're gonna focus on them for the next move. Dumbbells end above the chest, straightening the arms with every rep. Time, all right, just one dumbbell. Why don't you rest it, and again, you'll stay on the ground if you don't have a BOSU. If you have a BOSU, you'll be with me. You're gonna take a look up past the knees and glute thrust it. So if you are on the BOSU with me, you're gonna have your head off your BOSU. Maybe hold on to the head with the other hand. If you don't have the BOSU, you're just head on the ground. Hold on to the dumbbell. Let the glutes take the dumbbell, work at the dumbbell. So don't have it too high up into the belly. Push through those heels, get those hips up high, come on. One more here. All right. You get a 30 second water break and then we take it from the top with our squat on top of the BOSU or just a static squat on the ground. Whew, I need a quick sip. So that's, the, that's how we're rolling. Two more rounds of that. I know, fun, right? All right. If you want to spice it up some more with the BOSU, you'll bring your heels up and let's sink it all the way down or on top of the BOSU. So this is going to make you go a little deeper. Heels up. Sometimes the ankle mobility or lack thereof on us doesn't allow us to go down very deep with our squat. So having our heels elevated helps us out. This will load up your quadriceps more. Ooh. 
time. All right, get the dumbbell out of the way. I don't want you tripping on it. Up and over your dome or just up and over. Ready, squat, go. Good, so the first round, right, we're learning it. You're getting used to the movements. Now you know it, Protect, perfect the form now. Pick up the tempo. Let's get those heart rates up and make this a true metabolic conditioning workout. One more time over. Woo. All right, stationary lunge or standing fire hydrants. Left leg back, go. This is burning my back leg. So if your back leg quad is on fire, it's normal. It's normal. All right, other leg up. Three, two, one, let's go. So these type of workouts, Metcons, hits, they are a lot of fun to do and great if you're short on time. So we get to combine both your cardio and your strength. Last 10 seconds, we're moving into shoulder press to burpee with the dumbbells in your hands or the BOSU, time. Now, you'll see the alternative, I'm using a chair, so that's your modified approach. Everybody, start with the press. Jump or step back. Use the legs to get down, not your back. Pull in, press up. Time. All right, chest press, dumbbell in each hand. This one you gotta move fast. Get ourselves ready. Give me that bridge and go. Whew, how'd you do? <laughs> Did you get set up in time? If you didn't, don't fret. It'll all work out in the end. Squeeze those glutes, keep those hips up. Dumbbells are touching center above the chest, not the head. Hip thrusts coming up. Time. All right, take one dumbbell. Place it on the hips. If you're on the BOSU only, curl the upper body up slightly. Push through the heels, bridge up. I like to hold my head with my other hand so my neck doesn't fatigue. When my bum just brushes the ground, I thrust up again. That sounded very wrong. I thrust up again. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's not that kind of channel. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter, you. Two more. One more. And rest. All right, we got one more round. We start with the squat. Whew. Grab a sip of water if you need it. I'm loving these 30 second breaks. Cheers. So I've shown you a couple of different ways you can do the squat. I'm gonna go back on top of the dome for me. Please grab a dumbbell though, all right? Ready, set, let's go. Now, if you find your feet are shifting all over the place in your runners here on the BOSU, that's normal again. Next time you do this workout, maybe try it barefooted. Barefooted? 
barefooted, that's a word. <laughs> Try it in your bare feet. <laughs> All right, up and over. <sighs> Don't go in your socks. You need the grip of your skin. <sighs> you need the skin contact to the BOSU. Sock contact doesn't work so good. Last time doing this one. Whoo, this is a thigh burner. Just bringing back memories of that thigh torsion, no equipment workout we did the other day. That one was brutal, huh? <laughs> Time. All right, lunge, left leg behind us, or standing fire hydrant. Ready, set, go. Last few reps. One more. Time. Woo. All right. Other leg. Ready and begin. We've got that burpee coming up. So maybe your dumbbells are in your hands or we're gonna grab the BOSU if you're with me with the dome. Time. Whew. So we start with the shoulder press, okay? Ready, press it. Bend the knees to get down there. Step or jump back. If you're with me on the BOSU, you want the chest to be over top of that white plug. We gotta get down quick for our chest press for the next move, so get ready. Time, here we are. <sighs> Pressing above the chest, straightening the arms with each rep, pushing it through the heels to get the hips up, ankles and knees aligned. Last two moves, we'll grab a quick water and move into a fun little ab circuit to finish this off and to finish you off. <laughs> yeah. Time, all right. One dumbbell on the hips. Bosu people, you're gonna round the upper back off the Bosu. Everybody's gonna push the hips up. Dumbbells resting on the hip bones. If it's too high up into the belly, it's not your glutes taking the work anymore. Bum just kisses the mat and then boom, back up there again. Don't let it rest. You can rest tonight. Right now you're all mine, come on. Last few reps. Time, great job you. All right, grab a quick sip of water. I'm gonna change up my timer. Whew. That was a good one, huh? Yeah, that was good. So we've got three ab moves. I'm using the BOSU, you'll watch the alternative screen. I'm gonna verbally cue some osteoporosis friendly ones. So if you're unfamiliar with the wording, then I recommend you take a look at my osteoporosis and exercise video on the YouTube channel. Ah, one, two, three. Because uh, the more you know with whatever ailment you have, the better you are equipped to make sure that you train smart and safe. We're starting with an ab crunch. Knees are bent on the ground or knees are bent on the BOSU. We have 10 seconds to get there. Okay. 
You ready? Awesome. Let's get ourselves set up. If you're on the dome with me, drop the bum down. We want to be able to go back into our crunch without the feet lifting up. So find the right positioning for the tush, hands light behind the ears, and here we go. Exhale and crunch up. So again, without the BOSU, how to do an ab crunch? <laughs> it's pretty, pretty generic. <laughs> Where the BOSU comes into play is we actually do recruit more abdominals because the BOSU's a BOSU allows us to go further behind, whereas on the ground, the ground will stop you. So you do get more ab recruitment. All right, hands are behind you. Shift your bum higher up if you're on the BOSU with me. Everybody starts with legs up and we extend everything out and in. Now to modify, you can go one leg. Okay, one leg. So as the legs extend, the upper body drops. And again, you gotta find that sweet spot if you're on the BOSU with me, where you can balance while extending both lower and upper body out. One more. Woo! All right, we got a plank, either forearms on your BOSU or just on the ground. Can further modify by bringing it onto the knees, not the toes. Go. So this is the last one. We're gonna take it back to that ab crunch for one more round of these. Hips are down, nice long line with the body. From the top of your head all the way down to your heels. Time. Ooh, my abs are done. <laughs> All right, just another minute and a half of exercise. Ready? Ab crunch. Go. Exhale as you curl up. If you're really fatiguing, you can cross your hands at the chest. That eliminates the weight of your arms as you curl up. One more. All right. So now we're going to set ourselves a little bit higher up on the dome, but you're not directly on top. Everybody hands are behind us. We start with knees into the chest, extend out and breathe. Ooh, I need a mini break. <laughs> this one gets me every time. I don't know why I programmed it. Actually, I do know why, because it's a good one. But as I was programming it, I was thinking, PJ, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do this one? And PJ was saying, no, I don't want to do this one. Time. <sighs> Plank. Knees or toes. Last ab drill. Let's go. Nice long line. Don't let that head drop. Look past the top of your mat. Breathe. Time. Woo, nicely done, you. All right, a couple of stretches and then you can continue on with your day. Left knee underneath the hip, lunge it forward, tighten up that left glute. Now let's get into the side of the body and the abs. Left arm extends straight up and lean away. Thank you for joining me, I appreciate it. And to my challengers, bravo. Remember, if you wanna work on your goals and really crush them. I recommend joining me either over on Patreon if you wanna stay with YouTube, and it's due to that community that we can keep the YouTube channel going, or come on over to Over 50 Fitness. We've got a link to both platforms down below. Straighten this front leg, 
bring it out. Remember I showed you, if you're part of the challenge, how you can elevate your ground with dumbbells or if you have yoga blocks. It just, it works, it's better. <laughs> it's better, damn it. <laughs> just do it like this. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, so if you don't own a BOSU, let's do the other side, tighten that glute, inhale the arm up, lean away. I'm curious, do you want one now? <laughs> if you do, I recommend getting the actual brand BOSU. Don't get the knockoffs. A, they won't last as long. B, they're not as well made. And C, most of them are smaller in diameter, meaning that, for instance, the moves standing on top of the BOSU won't work very well. Yes, it will cost a little bit more, but it is worth it, and it's a great investment. Um, someone on my team, she found hers on Facebook Marketplace for, I think it was like $30, which is a skookum deal. All right, let's do straight leg, press the hips back. And come into a standing position, heel up to the bum, let's stretch the quad, pull the knee back, focus your stare on something stationary, squeeze the bum forward. Let's do the other side. And release. Thank you so much for joining me. You can help this video out if you're here on YouTube by clicking that thumbs up. It will help this video be found in the YouTube algorithm. I'd love to hear from you down below. And for those of you enjoying this workout ads-free on the Over 50 Fitness platform, head to the private community after this. I'd love to know what you thought of the workout. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. But for everybody, you will need a pair of moderate weight dumbbells. And if you're a beginner and burpees aren't your jam, I'd also love for you to have a chair nearby for one of the exercises. Oh, I forgot to say what day it is. What day of the challenge it is. Bad, PJ. Bad. Please have a chair nearby so we can pop the hands up for that movement. All right. Oh, shit. Forgot the what day of the challenge it is again. Damn it.